Hi everybody! So I wanted to come and film the first seven days of my December daily for this year. I'm doing things a little bit differently this year and so that's why I thought I would do some recording. So right now it kind of lives in this in my TN from uh, Felicity Jane and what I've kind of done is Nothing's attached to anything yet. It's all just kind of living inside of the Traveler's Notebook with one of the bands in the center. So I can add to it and move things around and that's what I've been doing since the beginning. And I'm sorry for my voice. I've had a little bit of a sore throat so it's actually, it's going to sound a little funny. But I've been trying some new techniques and new products and just a bunch of new stuff just to give it a shot and see what I think about it. So a lot of this is from um, Prima's pep Sweet Peppermint collection, which was last year's Christmas collection from them that I've been hoarding <laughs> ever since I saw it. So um, this paper is from there, this chipboard piece is from there, the letters are from there, and then these are just some Tim Holtz rub-ons that I got. And so I just made a really cute, very, very easy cover from that. Sorry, I'm sipping my coffee too. Now, <laughs> part of this has been me learning to just let things go when they don't work out because, like I said, this is a new style for me. This is a new way of, of doing all of this. And so when I stamped this, it just kind of got all smudgy, but I'd already done it and it was already down. And so I figured, you know what, let's just let it go and it's going to be a little, a little smudgy. It just shows that it's handmade. So... Um, this was a very basic start to my week or to the, to the month, just a picture of my coffee because I had a really bad headache, um, that day I needed the caffeine. So, um, and I actually ended up getting quite a bit of work done, even in spite of the headache. Um, this is from the Reset Girls happy place challenge and so rather than a list I kind of told the story because I could really only think of one cherished childhood toy which was this Fisher Price kitchen that I got I don't even remember what age I was but I definitely remember the day I got it it was a very, it's a very strong memory for some reason and so it stuck with me this is the third nothing really happened so I didn't really have a photo but I wanted to just do a little bit of journaling to add so that I kept track of what happened that day. Now this is like one of those things that I added that was interesting. I've washi taped two envelopes together. So the other envelope is here in the back. But this one is right here in the front. And this is just from Michaels. I just picked up some of their um, card making, their Christmas card making kits. This is a sticker from the Print and Snip collections from the Reset Girl. And so inside, all I have is, we went out to dinner this night, and so I have a picture of our dinner, and then I did some journaling on the back, and then just a business card from where we ate. So easy peas, picture, journaling, done, and then it just lives in this little envelope, and so it adds kind of an interesting, interesting texture and different look to the envelope, or to the, to the book. And again, this was another one that I didn't have a picture for, but I did have some ephemera. I ordered a pizza and <laughs> had the had the uh, receipt for it. Um, and so everything kind of came together where I just put a little bit of this little cardboard piece and a note and just to get that day done. This was another day where I didn't have a photo, but something important happened. Basically, there was a fire that was about you know, a few miles away from us. It's just kind of living here in LA during, during the Santa Ana's. Um, but I took that picture and did a little bit of journaling on this side. And this is another one of those, I have something washy to something else kind of deals. And so that's actually, I think over here, and it's just like, I washed another three by four card to it. And so they, that'll be on the back side for me to use in a bit. The infamous Starbucks Christmas stuff. So I have a Starbucks bag that's on this side and then I split it in half. So I'll probably add something 
to that. I'll just use it like it's a page rather than a pocket. And so I was able to use this one like it's a pocket. And I got the Christmas tree frappuccino. So I had to take a picture and, uh, and uh, document that. <laughs> Definitely, um, I don't usually like these like Instagram, I call them in Instagram bait drinks that they do. But this one I actually uh, removed one of the flavors. I don't like mint and or sour stuff. And so usually that's what gets me. But this one I just had them remove the peppermint. And so it was basically just a chocolate milkshake that they made look like a Christmas tree. So I was totally on board. And so that was, I believe that takes us up to the seventh. So that's the first week in my December daily. And so I've started very basically on um, the next day, which is the 8th where I went to Disneyland. So I'm going to finish that up, but I will record that for next week. I'm also going to be participating in Holla Daily with, um, some of my design team members from, or some of my fellow design team members, I should say, from the Fairy Tale Club. So expect to see some stuff from that in the very near future. But thanks for checking this out. Thanks for putting up with my slightly weird voice. Um, and until next week, see you later. Bye.